There are no Chechen units on the front line yet. They did not even fight in Bakhmut when the Wagnerites were withdrawn from there. As Radio Liberty reports, this was stated by one of the analysts from the North Caucasus who has been monitoring the actions of Kadyrov's men on the Ukrainian front since the beginning of the war, Harold Chambers. I don't see anything that would allow us to say that after the attack on Kiev in the first days of the war, Kadyrov's men would have fought on the front lines. Units associated with the Russian Defense Ministry from Chechnya fought closer to the front but not in hot spots. They quietly served in important strategic points, but whether they were really on the front lines, photos or videos with exact verified locations have not been publicly available to this day, says Chambers. However, the head of the Ukrainian expert group Sova, Doctor of Political Science Professor Mikhail Sava, noted that there is no confirmation of the information about the transfer of Kadyrov's men to the front lines. Back in June, they were used in the Kharkiv region as blocking detachments. But such a transfer is not excluded. Rotations occur regularly on both sides of the front line, he said. The leader of the pro itch carrier movement in Europe, Zambulat Sulimanov noted that although it is customary today to call everyone who serves in the Akhmat regiment Kadyrovites, they must be distinguished. There is Kadyrov's team. They are the executioners of the Chechens and there are Chechens who are taken into the regiment under the threat of charges on trumped up criminal cases or as punishment for criticizing the Kadyrov regime. The latter have long been sent to the front lines and there are losses among them. However, until there are big losses among Kadyrov's close associates, they will not feel anything, Suleimanov believes. Recall in June, Russia transferred Kadyrov's men to the north of the Kharkov region to use them as blocking detachments and to prevent the escape of other units. Barrier detachments formed from personnel of the Akhmat units have been deployed in the border zone to prevent attempts by Russian soldiers to escape back to the Russian Federation. Russia continues to suffer heavy losses in its war of aggression in Ukraine. Some 1,310 Russian servicemen were killed during the hostilities in the past day, brining Moscow's total combat losses to 576,000 people since the start of its full-fledged invasion of Ukraine on February 24, 2022, the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine reported on Monday. In a post on its official Facebook page, the general staff stated that Russia also suffered losses in terms of military equipment in the past day. According to the agency, Ukrainian armed forces destroyed 12 Russian tanks, 8 armored combat vehicles, 74 artillery systems, 2 multiple launch rocket systems, 39 operational and tactical drones, 1 cruise missile, 62 vehicles and tanker, and 19 special equipment during the battles in the past day. Overall, Russian armed forces have lost 8,356 tanks, 16,103 armored combat vehicles, 16,010 artillery systems, 1,129 multiple launch rocket systems, 906 air defense systems, and 363 aircraft, 326 helicopters, 12,805 operational and tactical drones, 2,406 cruise missiles, 28 ships and boats, 1 submarine, 21,634 vehicles and tankers and 2,690 special equipment since its war of invasion in the neighboring country. Kremlin has not publicized the number of its military losses in Ukraine. According to Ukrainian media reports, Russia's losses in the war in Ukraine are three times higher than those of Ukraine.